what the heck do all these letters and numbers on your SD card actually mean? Before we even talk about speed, let's start with the family name. That's the part that says SD, SDHC, SDXC, or SDUC. These just describe the storage capacity range and the file system that the card uses. Now for the confusing part, those CU and V symbols. They all mean the same basic thing. Minimum write speed, how fast your card can record data. They all come from different generations of SD cards. C was the first system, like C10, which means it can record at 10 megabytes per second. U came next for newer, faster cards, U1 for 10 megabytes per second, and U3 for 30 megabytes per second. V is the newest made for video, V30, V60, V90, which is 30, 60, or 90 megabytes per second. So C is old, U is newer, and V is modern, but they're all measuring the same thing, how fast your card writes. Then you'll see UHS-1 or UHS-2 on the card. That's about how the card connects to your camera. UHS-1 has one row of pins up to 100 megabytes per second, UHS-2 has two rows and can be three times faster. You'll only get that full speed if the camera supports it, but the card will still work either way. And the tiny switch on the side? That's the right protect switch. Slide it down to lock the card so you can't delete or overwrite any files. Slide it up to unlock and record again. So SDXC is the card family, CU and V is how fast the card writes data, and UHS is how fast the card transfers data. If you're just shooting 1080p or 4K video, a U3, V30, UHS-1, SDXC card is perfect. If you're shooting high-end 4K, 6K, or 8K, look for V60 or V90, and if your camera supports it, go for UHS-2 for faster transfers. And that's it. Now you actually know what all those little SD card symbols mean.